Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Here I will be teaching you how you can program or code your own, your very own application for always on top functionality. We will be implementing a always on top um, function or functionality into your application right now. So let's start right off going to the code scope here, your Visual Basic and you will need first of all option strict on I won't be detailing um, too much and what are these two are but yeah you need option strict on you need also to import the system dot runtime dot interrupt services after you had after you're done with that we're gonna follow up and let's go ahead and import the APIs for user 32 functions we're gonna be using are get foreground window and and set window pause. I got a little neat um, add-on uh, from Pinbug. Um, you can get it on. You can get it online. You can just um, go here and uh, search for Pinbug. Pinbug and. Uh, Visual Studio Signature Spinbook um, Visual Studio Add-in. It's on Red Gates. Redownload. Okay, here you go. It's actually on Visual Studio Gallery. MSDN. MSDN. Microsoft.com slash and this freaking crazy hashed um, value. Anyways, I'll be giving you the, the 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 link the link on the description box below the video. So if you are lazy enough to just not search that for yourself, you can still you go ahead and to the description box and click on the link. It will take it directly to this um to this site. Okay. To be short and precise on time, I need to be kind of fast, so I won't be explaining too much of this. I will leave you this for yourself. You know. And, you know, for yourself to look up for more information, and you know, and so on and so on. But yeah, we'll be needing we'll be needing these um, pinbug.net Visual Studio extension. Download it. Go ahead and click the download button there. Wait until it installs, and after it installs, you'll have to shut down your um, Microsoft Visual Studio session or your program or whatever, whatever you want to call it, your IDE. You have to close it down, then uh, reopen it again. Once you reopen it, you will see, and then you will notice the pinbook.net tab over here at the top. Okay. So once you have that, we're gonna go right ahead and jump on the importance for the um, a, uh, Windows user user 32 DLL APIs. As I said earlier, we are gonna be need, we're gonna need the sorry we're gonna need go ahead here and open up the insert pinbook signatures. We're gonna be looking forward to add get for ground window. Hit enter or hit search. It will do the search and it will search for you the um, API call that we, we we want to to get. Okay. Once we have it, just select this little portion of the text right here. We don't need all these um, gibberish. This is actually um, this is commentary from the develop their network I guess that it's you know sell you the foreground window function with your handle blah blah yeah this is just overall review of what the function do or what the function does. You select here once you're done um don't close it down don't close it down we would need it later on and let's import the second um function um, API call that we're going to be needing is set window oops I hope I can spell that window 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 pause no I didn't said pause I did I said pause or pass I, I don't know how you, <laughs> you said pause <laughs> window pause okay so we're gonna be we're gonna be working with user 32 DLL let me see how the time I'm getting time okay five minutes so far um, go ahead and work with the User 32 API call and copy this whole thing up since there are no um, no 
um, comments or commentaries in the within the the structure itself or the function. Okay, since we have it, we are, we could actually use insert, but you know, um, I was lazy enough, so I just I wasn't lazy enough, so I just copied and did it my way. I did it my way. I did it my way. Okay, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you see, that's why you can't swallow and try to talk at the same time cuz <coughs> Sorry about for sorry for that. Now you can go ahead it's safe to close this window. And now let's continue up. We will need the flags for um the calls. Um, let's look for set window pause. This is core DLL. Don't then don't don't work with core DLL because we're not working with core core DLL. We're gonna be we're looking at set window pause from the user thirty two um, API call. <clears throat> um. So let's see. Are the flags or around the win window? Let's see if, if it works. Foreground window. I'm guessing it is. Nope. Where is it? Public enum enum or whatever you want to set window flags. Oh right. Um. Oh my god, I just, I, just, I just forgot. We have it right here. Uh, set window boss. We need the enums. So I was forgetting about this. Sorry about my slobbery, slobbery, slacky, slobbery. I just followed up this link. And let's copy up the. This is the C standard definition. We need the BB.NET definition. Go ahead and copy all this block of text. Uh, oops, I think I copied as well from the left side. Since it was selected, I was like, oops, come on, would you please let me copy already? All right. So, yeah, here we have it. Um, for sake of be better readability, you know, um, Make it more readable. I will just pause the video right here, and when I get back to it, you will see that um, you will see all these comments lines that are are getting already deleted. Okay, so um, we are back. Okay, every hello everyone, welcome back. Um, now I have deleted the comments, the tedious comments, the green ones. So now it's uh, we are um, we are up with the better resulting looking structure for the these enums. Right. So what we're gonna do next is to prepare the PM window plus cordial window thirty two. So window pause. Mm, okay, this is what we need. We need the um, building a constants for the parameters for the API calls. And now, once we have done everything, we have set up this is a quick we um, summarize of what have you done so far. We imported the DLLs. We imported the functions of the DLL we're gonna be needing. In this case, there are only two that we need. It's get foreground window and set window pause. Um, we have set up um, the parameters that we're gonna be needing. Um, we're gonna be getting the handle for the window later on. I gonna um, you're gonna see how we're gonna do that. This is the parameter for the constants <coughs> in this case. For the first, for the second parameter of the set window pause API call, and then these other values are not quite important right now. Then the flags are in this case the flags that we're gonna be using. All right. So 
Um, let's jump right ahead on the on the programming for the checkbox one check changed event. All right. So if checkbox one, if I can spell checkbox one dot checked um, equals true, then 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 set set window pause it's already there thank you intelligence and then we're gonna open parentheses and let you start popping parameter values right there oh sorry I forgot um handle window um dim we're gonna declare the handle window right now as uh, in ptr in ptr in ptr dot zero. Let's initialize. Let's initialize it at zero, and then we're gonna take the the, the value of the current application that's, that's gonna be running in this case or our application. Okay. So h wind um h wind or h handle h window handle h window handle equals gonna be equal get foreground window. All right. Which is going to be our application again. Once we are done with that, let's pass the first parameter as our um, application that is running right now, or, or going to be running, you know, when we run the program. You know, you get me. And then we're going to be um, sending the second parameter. It's going to be a handle window, handle window topmost. And then gonna be nothing here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oops. Are right, these are one, two, three, four, nothing. <clears throat> so it's um okay. Each window insert after so like one two three four okay so it's one two three four and then why it's not anyways let's do a C type here do I do let's do a C type cast conversion from um each one to set with the post flags all right so once we're done with that we're gonna copy these. And you know that checkbox only. You know that checkbox only. Oops. Checkbox only can return. Um. Well, two specific values. It's gonna be true or false, one or zero. In this case, we know that if it's already. Okay, so since we know that it only returns true or false. Like I explained already, so we already know that it's you know if true then else you know the only thing left is just this being false. So if it's false, then we're gonna just go here and change this no top most, and that's it. And that's gonna be everything for testing. We're gonna go ahead and launch it up. Yeah. Always on top. You're gonna do this repositioning, but you know, at least what we want to know is that if it's currently working. Okay, so let's launch something, and uh, yep, as you can see, of course, it's working. It's all working, all real nice. All right, and all good. All right, so um, before I hit the 15 minute mark. Thank you for everything. So, well, thank you for for looking at the video tutorial. If you really liked it, hit the like button there below the video and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos coming. Um, just write your suggestion about what you want to be seeing um, next next uh, video tutorials. Um, uh, well, so yep. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.